Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Combined. So I am having Paula actually level up her social networking skill, so that way I can have her send out a blog post to kind of defend herself because it was pretty great. Um, Chutan noticed that since Keely, you know, is trying to be like a mean girl, and in Mean Girls, they're known as the Plastics, right? And she's dating someone named Plastic, and I never even made that connection until she posted about it. And also, kind of related, there is this uh, person named- Oh my god, you dropped your ice cream. That was not their name. Uh, Anya, who sent out this request that we should say, just because your boyfriend's name is Plastic doesn't mean that you're part of the Plastics. So, <laughs> I want Paula to level up her social networking skill to be able to blog. So she can send out that post. Now, a majority of you were requesting a masquerade party, so that is what I'm going to be throwing first. But don't worry, we will. Ah, oh, Paula. <laughs> oh no! So that's what happens with your phone. Um, if you use it too much, or it might just be random, you can crack your phone. So she just dropped it, and as you can see, there's this huge just crack on it. We can actually replace it for 150 simoleons, but. Uh, for now, I'll just leave it like that, and let's go ahead and go to the social networking uh, tab, because we just opened up the blog app, and we will be able to send out this post. So let's go ahead and do this, and as you can see, when you open up the phone, you even see the crack on here. <laughs> and I don't know what to name her blog, so for now, I'm just going to name it XOXO, and if you guys have um, any other suggestions to rename Paula's blog, feel free to let me know. I'm not sure how often I'll have her use it, but we'll go ahead and make a new post, and once again, it's going to be just because your boyfriend's name is Plastic, with a capital P, <laughs> doesn't mean that you're a part of the Plastics. Hashtag nerds unite. Oh, I can't put that hashtag. So I'll put uh, and unite. <laughs> I don't know. And oh no. Oh no, no, that was good. Okay, I thought we lost three followers already. I'm like, how do we lose followers when we don't have any? But we have gained three followers for that blast. So let's go ahead and go back to Keely because now it's her turn to send one out. This was submitted by India Myers, who basically said that Babs is essentially the um, Janice of our crew, so Keely's going to assume that Babs is like madly in love out there, so we'll go ahead and go to the blog app, and this one says, the future chick is so in love with me, it's just a game of tag. <laughs> so hopefully this will give us some followers, uh, let's see, and no, oh, we lost 13 followers! Are you serious? Come on! Well, okay, this is kind of perfect. I didn't think this was going to happen this fast, but we're going to send out another blog post because this one was actually submitted by HCZ, who says, I'm sorry that everyone is so jealous of me, but I can't help that I'm popular since she lost so many followers. And... Oh no, we lost even more? Whatever! They're just haters anyways, we're just going to go downstairs and go eat our pain away. So she's going to go uh, steal a microwave meal from Babs and Paula's room. So obviously that slanderous remark from Paula has been affecting Keely's status as a blogger. <laughs> and um, alright, people will be going to class momentarily. And oh, did I throw the party yet? I don't think I did. So after she's done eating her meal. I'll have her throw the masquerade party. And over here, I kind of remodeled their backyard to be a little party area. So we have um, the statue here, which we need to activate this once the party is active so that everyone will start wearing masks and stuff. And also, we got a fire pit here that we haven't really shown off yet. And the juice kegger is here in this little like fancy area. We also do have a place for them to play a juice pong and buffet table as well as a little barbecue um, thing but I'm not sure if we're actually and oh my god that microwave meal does not look appetizing at all but at least she is in a better mood and I think that everyone else is in class right now holy crap yeah so Keely is the only one available right now so let's go ahead and have her throw the party and everyone should be able to make it 
at 7 p.m. We'll also make it a formal attire party and you can actually make it specifically a juice kegger party or bonfire party. So we'll go ahead and make it a bonfire party and let's invite some familiar faces over. So this is the guy that Keely slapped. We'll go ahead and invite him over. Maybe we can harass him some more. We also can invite over the creepy old man, a professor. I think that this guy might be the werewolf that was being all creepy with Keely. And oh, I'll have to send out a blog post about that later in this part. So let's just go ahead and invite a bunch of other random students from our campus and we will make it a formal attire since it's supposed to be like a masquerade uh not necessarily a ball just a masquerade party so also i did not show off keely's object in the last part and i kind of forgot so let's go ahead and change her into her everyday clothing and we can have her go work on a business plan so um since she is in the business major she gets this cool briefcase that unfolds really neatly if you see it it's like bam workstation out of nowhere so she is now working on a business plan and um i don't really know um if this helps us when we present one or not i'm assuming that it will so she'll go ahead and do that and as you can see her academic performance is going up quite a bit and look at that finals are already coming up relatively soon finals are going to be on friday and look at that she has received 11 simoleons to support the burn book blog good to know that we still have some diehard fans of our blog so thank you to oscar dillard <laughs> i'm not even sure who that is in the game wouldn't that be funny though if it was like one of the old der men or something so when does she have class her class doesn't start for three more hours oh you know what we could do to improve her jock status because i haven't shown this off yet but if you go over here which apparently um plastic is in here you can go ahead and go to the stadium and actually play a sport so we'll have her go over here and play uh how about volleyball that seems like that could be fun so she'll go play a game and hopefully that should improve her jock influence because once she reach, uh, reaches a uh, rank four she'll be able to take self pictures now here is plastic and he's going back home and he wants to practice a school cheer actually is he even a jock no he's not anything um let's go ahead and get him some jock influence then and then we should be able to do a school cheer so let's go ahead and do that now where is babs okay she is free right now so let's see does she actually have the ability to throw or start a riot i don't think so not a riot but protest so let's go ahead and get her some rebel influence points. She is now a rank three with the rebels. Okay, so we should have a megaphone in our inventory now and we can start to do a protest. So we will announce ones over here at the city park just because we've been at the university quad a couple times already and we will do an easy one. Let's go ahead and do it about the unicorns at 12 p.m. That's perfectly fine. Dad. And hopefully it'll be a good turnout. In the meantime, we can actually go to other Sims and like give them flyers and stuff. So let's go over here to this dude. And oh, he can't be disturbed. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, we got to find some people to give out some flyers to because we want this protest to, you know, actually have some people show up. So how's this guy doing? Oh my God. None of these people can be disturbed. All right, well, screw it. You know what? We're going to go ahead and start heading over to City Park, and I'm sure that some people will show up on their own. So the docs are taking a liking to Keely Red and want to see more of her. Keely is able to take cell photos and receive opportunities to host bonfire parties. So is she still in the gym? Yes, she is. Okay. Oh, crap. All right. I'm, she's not going to be able to actually finish the game because she has to go to class, and I don't want her to show up late. But... After she's done with class, I will have her take a self. It's awesome because when they do take the self picture, you can actually hang it up in your room or wherever you want. So, and all crap. I think that the protest is going to be starting soon. In fact, she is carrying a picket sign about unicorns right now. And some other people have shown up, so that's great. They all seem to be uh, really taking a liking to this protest about unicorns. Apparently, they're not very liked over here and <laughs> university and awesome we didn't even get to like send out any flyers just because you know i couldn't find anyone but i'm happy that people still showed up so 
Let's see, can we actually use the podium? Yeah, let's go and try to lead a chant so that we can raise her rebel influence. And what is this? We have a Kona bean plant over here. So we'll go ahead and harvest that after she's done trying to protest. And she's extremely hungry. So after she's done doing this, we can also have her go like eat out at the diner or something. And all right. Her lips aren't moving, but her body language sure is getting everyone riled up. So that's great. <laughs> Hopefully this protest will be okay. We do have a random spectator over here. And maybe this wasn't the best spot. Oh, there's that girl again walking around with no shirt. And look at that. Someone else. Oh, never mind. That's a janitor cleaning up the street art. How rude. It seems that her protest is actually going extremely well. She is kind of getting a little hot. But we'll fast forward this a bit so we can see the results of the protest. It shouldn't take too long. And oh no, it's losing its momentum. I guess we could go ahead and try to interact more with the podium. Now that she's out of class, let's have her go ahead and take a self photo. It's a camera, take self portrait. So there they go, doing the typical duck lips. <laughs> and oh no, she has to go to class already. But if we click on her phone, we should be able to look through the camera and view all the photos that she's taken. So let's see if that picture came out good or not. Um, <laughs> not really. She's kind of trying a bit too hard to look good there, but we can go ahead and try again. And I like how we still have this picture of Paula Grapes. So she's still socializing with other Sims in class. I wonder, can we have her sleep? Yes, we can. So I'm going to have her catch some Zs. I know this is going to lower her academic performance, but I want her to be wide awake from when we actually start throwing the masquerade party. And what is up with you, Paula? Just eat that apple. What? Oh, okay, you have to go pick it, I guess. And you can go home and get in a better mood as well. So, wow, this protest is still going on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we need to go home and eat food and stuff. So I'm hoping that this uh, will end soon. So let's see. Okay, awesome. The protest that Babs Bunny organized was a huge success. And now people are all roaming around her to pretty much congratulate her. And I don't know why she's holding up a protest sign about a Yeti when we were protesting against unicorns. That's all right. And look at that. That guy has a balloon. I didn't know they had balloons. And it's going up in the air. Oh my god, there's another balloon. <laughs> Why can't our Sims just go around the university carrying balloons and stuff? That's awesome. Oh man, speaking of balloons, you know it'd be kind of cool if you could have like your Sims go to theme parks and stuff and have their own theme parks. I don't know why the balloons just reminded me of theme parks, but oh, that's so cool. All right, well, she can now finally go back home and eat some food so she can get in a better mood for the masquerade party. And it seems that Buster is actually improving his jock skill, so that's pretty awesome. Now, let's go back to Keeley. I believe it's time to send out another blog post after she's done. Oh, wow, she got her rest um, in the class already. She's fully energized. But after she's done with this lecture, we will send out a quick blog post before going to the party. She actually wants to earn a new title by increasing her jock influence, so we will do that. And this post actually comes from Casey, and I figure it makes sense since, you know, Paula sent out that nasty remark, so we might as well send one back about her cheating on her hot dog boyfriend with <laughs> a tofu dog. And hashtag forever alone and cheater cheater. Let's see. Oh my goodness! All her blog posts have been doing so bad! She's lost three followers! Holy crap! Let's go ahead and open up our blog app so we can see how many followers we have. I feel like we have none! Like zero! But I could be wrong. Let's see. And also, since people are here, and look at that, someone brought... Is that pizza? I'm not sure. We have zero followers! <laughs> poor, poor Keely. She is losing her status as Queen Bee. But anyways, let's go ahead and walk in here. And here's her masquerade outfit. Um, unfortunately, when we turn on the masquerade object, not 
everyone's masquerade mask is going to match. Let's have her take off her backpack. In fact, we're going to have to do that with everyone probably. And here is Bab's um, outfit for the masquerade party. I think Paula should be home as well, so she'll be turning into her outfit in just a moment after she's done using the restroom. It seems that someone has a crush on Plastic Bag. And I did get requested to, um, you know, show off more of the romantic interactions, like the heat of the moment kiss and stuff. So I will do that. And apparently it's not the wink interaction that has the hearts uh, go out. It's when you blow them a kiss. So I'll show that off uh, momentarily. And let's see, Buster, here is his um, masquerade outfit. Hopefully you're able to see plastics in the dark over there. But since we want, you know, everyone to basically be in a masquerade outfit, we will turn this on and we will change it to the masquerade setting. And everyone that shows up to our house should be wearing a mask. But like I was saying, even if you assign them a masquerade mask prior to setting that up, um, they still wear a random looking one. And sometimes it still matches, but usually not so much. So let's go ahead and have uh, Babs use the restroom so that she can get in a better mood. And then we'll light the bonfire because I, I want to say that we picked up an herb. Or maybe she didn't do it after the protest. After all, I wanted her to. Crap. Because I wanted to, you know, hopefully show off what the herbs do, but I don't think anyone has any in their inventory, so that might have to be something we show off like in the toga party or something. And let's go ahead and add wood. And oh, I totally forgot to serve food. So let's go do that right now. And we will change this volume to high so that we can hear it a little better. I'm hoping that all the people will come out here. They're like over here. Stop playing this guitar. You are, like, causing everyone to stay over there instead of enjoying themselves over here in the party. And here is Paula's uh, masquerade outfit. Unfortunately, I think she's a bit nauseous from disgusting food and about to pass out at any moment. But let's have her go ahead and uh, pour some juice from the juice keg object so that she can get juiced up. And then we can have her try to do a heat of the moment kiss with someone. So also, let's go ahead and show off the blow kiss interaction. I'll have um, Buster use it on Bab's bunny if I can find it. Oh, we can actually have them take a romantic picture together. I didn't realize that um, you only needed one skill in the jock points uh, to do that. So this is how it looks like when they take a romantic photo. It's pretty adorable, actually. Oh, what is this? Of course, there's an old man dancing with a young vampire lady over here. And it's uh, raining right now. It totally is raining. Why would it rain on our outdoor party? <laughs> Out of all the days. Well, anyways, let's have Paula go over here. And I'm going to have her go ahead and um, try to do the heat of the moment kiss. We probably have to do the friendly introduction first. And of course, we want Keely to capture this moment. So hopefully that old man will stop interacting with that chick so we can get this all situated. And all right, we will go ahead and do romantic and heat of the moment kiss. And, you know, Paula is a hopeless romantic. And we got to bust out the blog app quick. Otherwise, we won't be able to capture this photo. And I always get confused with phone settings and social networking. I guess we went to it a little bit too fast. Let's see. Oh, God, no. I'm missing it. I am missing it. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Is the old man going to like it or not? Oh, apparently not. Well, we can take a picture of the aftermath then. And here we go. We will go ahead and change this so we can get it in frame. And we will take a picture. So let's see. And that one was actually worth... Um, two simoleons and it was captured as party sims so let's go ahead and go back to the blog app and see if we have any followers still none <laughs> maybe we don't gain any with pictures but at least we are able to capture that moment so wow it's only 9 p.m. but most of my sims are tired I probably should have had all of them um, sleep in 
their class when we have parties. And you know what? Like, everyone decided to come over here. I should have locked the front and back door. Then again, it is raining, so everyone's probably just wanting to stay in here instead. And wow, someone brought an entire turkey. That must have taken a lot of effort to prepare. And fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. That sounds delicious. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks. I wish, uh, you know, in the future, when we throw another toga party... I will have it so that, um, you know, I'll lock the door so everyone has to go outside because that's where I want people to be. And I'm going to go ahead and berate his ignorance, um, criticize his family, insult him, and much more. Oh, Paul is going to go vomit now? Maybe it was that old man's breath that caused her to go and vomit in the bathroom stall. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> it's probably from some food, but I'd like to pretend that it's not. Um, so let's go ahead and have everyone start going to sleep. Before I do end the part, though, I do need to send out one final blog post. Hopefully this one can actually redeem us some followers again because we have, like, none. Absolutely none. It's awful. This is about the crazy werewolf yesterday because it was uh, Rodney who said that it looked like he was trying to look up her skirt. <laughs> And so then Joan um, said that I should blog about um, saying that werewolf looks up my skirt 24-7. It's only okay if it was Taylor Lautner. I can never say that guy's name, but obviously she is a Team Jacob fan. And ooh, that post gained us six followers. Okay, good. Because it was pretty depressing that she had absolutely zero followers. Now, our party is probably going to be kind of a bust, um, but let's have her go ahead and go to sleep. So, Keely's party has dragged to a close. The guests are already complaining about Keely's hosting skills. Oh no! We threw a lame party! Oh, that sucks! Well, you know what? After finals, we'll have to throw a toga party again, and we've learned from our mistakes. We'll know to make it probably earlier. I made it a little too late, I think, so... But then again, they're going to have to go to their classes on finals, so... Oh, man. All right. That is it for this part. Our party sucked. But that's okay. You know, these things happen. Keely is kind of having to redeem herself, so... Oh, uh, man. I don't know. We're going to have to have her just make better blog posts so that she can gain followers again. Because she has just been losing them so often. So, anyways. Oh, look at all this gross food. That spoiled so fast. <laughs> that is all for now, and I will see you guys next time.